everybody welcome to a new episode of hand that rocks the cradle i'm your host mayura and like you know we feature amazing mothers on this particular series and we talk about birthing and labor and their postpartum experiences so if you are a mother or if you know another mother you should watch this and share with everyone today we have with us another amazing mom her name is preeti and preeti is a new mom so she is going to share with us something that all mothers wonder which is what is a normal delivery like so preeti had a normal delivery and she's going to share lots of awesome tips with us so welcome today preeti hello hi mayura hello everyone uh, i'm glad to be here thanks for inviting me yes awesome so how old is your baby right now he just completed 2 months oh like you are like in the newborn phase only currently so great yes okay so we are going to do quick questions on your delivery okay um if you are ready let's start yes we can get started okay so first question for you is how did your labor start i was not expecting my labor when it actually started i and i did not realize that it was labor so my water broke suddenly at night and i was completely normal before that i mean i was talking going up and down the stairs and eating having dinner and all so when the water broke i just thought it was normal um, uncontrollable urine inconsist uh, inconsistency so i did not um, pay much attention to it i thought okay let me go to the washroom but then it just continued so we thought okay let's go to the hospital just to be sure then um, we just had a bags luckily we had a bags packed so we just packed like two weeks back so uh, we took it with us we thought the doctor would just ask us to go back but we anyhow took it and we went to the hospital and as i reached the hospital again the water started flowing like that so that that time i understood that it is the water breaking and uh, as i reached the hospital the assistant doctor checked me and she said that you are 1 cm dilated we cannot let you go home so you have to get admitted and then uh, we'll see how the labor progresses so that's how it started it was quite an unexpected yeah really awesome like actually that was my next question that what happened when you immediately reached the hospital so then you got admitted okay so third question yes. is like uh, how long was your labor totally Seven hours. It was including the contraction and the active labor. So, okay. yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, great. And ah, uh, okay. So, when did you know that it is active labor? That now it's time to you know push. How did you know that? So, I had ah uh, seen multiple videos during my third trimester. I had read multiple blogs. I was keeping track of it with my phone. There was an app called Pregnancy App, and I was keeping track of it. How much? uh in how much difference it is coming so it started coming in 2 minutes and then i'm seeing like it's coming non stop it's not even stopping so one one traction is getting over again it's starting like from the back and to the front so then i thought okay call the nurse get it done with so i mean that time i thought that okay now the active labor would start so yeah wow uh, that's really awesome so um labor pain on a scale of 1 to 10 With ten being the worst pain imaginable, how much is it? <laughs> so uh, <clears throat> the passive labor, I mean the contraction part, that was around seven, and the actual labor, the active labor, the pushing part, that was like twelve, thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, twelve, thirteen. <laughs> okay. Okay, my God, for coping with labor pain. Yeah, so one thing really helped is whenever I was starting to get the contraction, it started from the back, and my husband was sitting be- behind me and supporting from his back. So that really helped with that pain. And the second thing is like when it was really unbearable, I started to do little walks, small walks, uh, in the room, and uh, bending over the bed like with a handle. i was little bending over so that it was helping with the back and the front contraction also okay. yeah okay and any kind of breathing exercises anything you recommend that helps you you know to kind of cope with contraction yeah so before uh, the delivery i was doing some exercise sessions some classes and they 
they used to teach the exercises yoga the breathing exercises how we can do during the labor so that really helped like uh, breathing from the nose and then holding it in and breathing out from the mouth so that really helped during the active labor also so whenever i was getting a little tired up i was trying to do that breathing exercises so that really helped get me back on track right to be ready to push yeah. it's very helpful actually because lot of times mothers they get like you know tensed and then the contraction and the pain is yeah. very tensed um, yeah okay so what happens immediately after birth what what do they do so immediately after the baby was born the pediatrician was in the labor room he took the baby he checked him thoroughly and uh, cleaned him up and um, then uh, the doctor the gynecologist she was uh, stitching me up i got uh, they had to tear up yeah. the perineum so she was stitching it up and um, after that they pulled out the rest of the things like placenta and okay. rest of the stuff that has to come out yeah okay so um you mentioned that your hospital bag was already packed when you went into labor so when do you think mother should start packing your hospital bags so i had read a lot about this when should we pack what all should we keep so i was preparing it from the 34th week but i actually started packing in the 36th week Got so it. during the 36th week uh, like at the end of it around my bag was packed so yeah Okay, wow, that's nice, and it is important because we don't know when in the third trimester we go into labor. Because just two, just two days back, I had visited the doctor for a regular checkup, and she said that around ten days, uh, it will go easily. After the due date, we'll see what happens. Wow. And just after two days, it <laughs> it happened. So yeah, it is important to keep the bags ready. True, and babies like they come when they want to. Like they don't see time. Like they are ready. They will. Yeah. Come. absolutely yes okay so uh, in your pregnancy do you think mother should take any classes or any education while they are pregnant since you said that you took prenatal uh, yoga all of that yes um prenatal yoga exercise is important to prep up for the delivery whether it is c section or normal because even after that we require some stamina uh, because the body becomes very weak and even i think also one more thing we should learn is the lactation part because i face some issue initially and someone should be there to guide thoroughly like uh, what all you should take to actually keep up the lactation if you are getting engorgement what should you do should you take it take the milk out or should you keep it as it is use some cold compress or hot compress so that information is really missing someone should uh, we should definitely take classes during pregnancy itself so that we are really ready for it after delivery we are occupied with so many things we can't take the classes so i would really uh, recommend everyone to take lactation classes before delivery yes very important and something that mothers come to know only after they have given birth so it's really important to you know have this information before the baby comes okay. yes last uh, like another question for you is like postpartum recovery after normal delivery since you got stitches How long did it take for your stitches to heal? That was the most painful part, <laughs> the vaginal stitches, because uh, you have to immediately start feeding. You cannot sit straight. You okay. cannot fold your legs, and it hurts like anything. So I used to keep one hand like this and used to change his diaper or nappy and on. So I got pain in this arm oh. because of. This. So yeah, one thing that helped was. Um, hello yeah so one thing helped was keeping pillows under like while sitting keeping the pillows on both side so that would um, prevent the stitches from being touched anywhere so that really helped and yeah but around um, it took me around 15 days so i also used to do the um, what do you call i used to mix the betadine and wa- warm water and used to spray it every time i go to the restroom so that also helped in healing So in fifteen days, I was completely okay. I was able to sit and cross leg then. Right. Oh my yeah. god, fifteen days is quite good because you know, I for me, I also got stitches. It took me three weeks. I think one month. Yeah. Initially, I was scared that it should not get uh, worse. The stitches should not 
half pus or anything so i visited my gynec twice to get it checked she was like no it is fine it is going to heal mm-hmm. so yeah yeah that is and one more advice yeah one more advice since we are here and i have a platform I, one more advice is drink lots of water right lots and lots of water because i had a little piles issue which is now resolved but um, this is a common issue i came to know and uh, only solution is to drink lots of water I, after delivery warm water or normal water anything but yeah drink water very true I and mean, it's it is something that happens to most women after normal delivery because of pushing like we take mm. hemorrhoids after normal delivery so it's uh, very true okay so last question to you preeti is advices for moms who are pregnant currently what would it be like what did your pregnancy labor delivery experience teach you that you want other pregnant mothers to know so luckily my pregnancy was quite smooth <laughs> but even i was taking very lot of precautions i had some issues in the past so i was taking some precautions like i was not eating outside i was having homemade food i was avoiding sweets so yeah one thing my gynec said that sugar will not help you at all it doesn't have any nutrients anything so just avoid it why do you want to have it if it's not uh, giving anything any beneficial to your baby so i don't okay fine and during pregnancy every mom will do what is best for their baby yeah. <laughs> pregnancy and postpartum yes so yeah that is one thing keep uh, take care of the diet and keep moving exercise and uh, yeah maybe some stairs up and down yes and don't get scared of normal delivery right most mothers yeah, don't get scared it's just it's just one day a one day thing after that it's like uh, very easy to heal it heals very quickly so yeah yes amazing so thank you so much preeti for coming sharing your delivery experience like we have spoken to moms who out of fear of normal delivery only don't go for it but um, like you said that it is just that one day and after that the recovery is much faster so thank you yeah. and sharing so one more thing is one more thing is you have to prepare your mindset for no- normal delivery just be ready for it whatever happens after that leave it to the doctor and the, and god <laughs> yes we're just prepared for it yeah yeah we have That's to it. learn we have to learn to cope with labor pain and that is the whole trick i feel that once your body is relaxed when you are in labor like the contractions you will be able to ride it the more tense you get the harder it gets to cope yes. yeah absolutely yes. Yeah, so uh, very nice, very nice to talk to you today, Preeti. Thank you so much. Nice talking to you. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Thanks, Yura. Bye.